9th standard unit 2 prose i can't climb trees anymore by ruskin bond first i'll read about the author about the author Ruskin Bond was born on 19th May 1934. He is an award-winning Indian author of British descent. He is much renowned for his role in promoting children's literature in India. The Indian Council for Children Child Education has recognized his role in the growth of children's literature in India. He got the Sahitya Academy Award in 1992 for Our Trees Still Grow in Dera. He was awarded the Padma Shri in 1999 and Padma Bhushan in 2014. As a prolific writer, he has written over 500 short stories, essays and novels. His popular novel, The Blue Umbrella, was made into a Hindi film and was awarded the National Film Award for the Best Children's Film in 2007. I will move on to the story. I Can't Climb Trees Anymore by Ruskin Bond. He stood on the grass verge by the side of the road and looked over the garden wall at the old house. It hadn't changed much. The old house built with solid blocks of granite wasn't altered at all. But there was a few outhouse and there were fewer trees. He was glad to see that the jackfruit tree still stood at the side of the building casting its shade on the wall. He remembered his grandmother saying a blessing rests on the house where the shadow of a tree falls and so the prison owners must also be receiving the tree's blessings. At the spot where he stood there had once been a turnstile and as a boy he would swing on it going round and round until he was quite dizzy. Now the turnstile was gone, the opening walled up. Tall hollyhocks grew on the other side of the wall. What are you looking at? It was a disembodied voice at first. Moments later, a girl stood framed between dark red hollyhocks, staring at the man. She was only 12 or 13, with lively eyes and long black hair. I am looking at the house. Is it yours? He asked. No, it's my father's. Why? Do you want to buy it? And what does your father do? He is only a colonel. Only a colonel? Well, he should have been a brigadier by now. The man burst out laughing. It's not funny, she said. Even mommy says he should be in a brigadier. It was on the tip of his tongue to make a witty remark. Perhaps that's why he's still a colonel. But he did not want to give offense. They stood on either side of the wall appraising each other. Do you want to buy it? No, he said. Well, she said, if you don't want to buy the house, what are you looking at? I used to live here 25 years ago. As a boy, as a young man, and then my grandmother died, and we sold the house and went away. She was silent for a while taking in this information then she said and you had and you would like to buy it back now but you don't have the money he did not look very prosperous no i wasn't thinking of buying it back wanted to see it again that's all how long have you lived in it only three years she smiled would you like to come in and look more closely? Wouldn't your parents mind? They have gone to the club. You, They don't mind. I am allowed to bring my friends home, even elderly friends like me. How old are you? Oh, just middle-aged, but feeling young today. And to prove it, he decided he would climb over the wall instead of going round to the gate. He got up on the wall all right but had to rest there breathing heavily. 
മിഡിൽ ഏജ് മാൻ ഓൺ ദ ഫ്ലൈയിങ് ട്രപ്പീസ് ഹി മച്ച ടു ഹിം സെൽഫ് ഐ വിൽ ഹെൽപ്പ് യു ഷി സെറ്റ് ആൻഡ് ഗേവ് ഹിം ഹർ ഹാൻഡ് ഹി സ്ലിദർ ഡൗൺ ഇൻ ടു അ ഫ്ലാ ബെഡ് ഷാറ്ററിങ് ദ സ്റ്റെം ഓഫ് എ ഹോളി ഹോക്ക് ആസ് ദ വോക്ക് അക്രോസ് ദ ഗ്രാജ് grass he spotted a stone bench under a mango tree it was the bench on which his grandmother used to rest when she was tired of pruning rose bushes and bougainvillea let's just sit here he said i don't want to go inside she sat beside him on the bench they were silent for some time the man closed his eyes and remembered other times the music of a piano the chiming of a grandfather clock the constant twitter of budgerigars on the veranda his grandfather cranking up the old car i used to climb the jackfruit tree he said opening his eyes Do you want to climb it again? My parents won't mind. No, no. Not after climbing the garden wall. Let's just sit here for a few minutes and talk. I mentioned the jackfruit tree because it was my favorite place. Do you see that thick branch stretching out over the roof? Halfway along it there's a small hollow in which I used to keep some of my treasures. What tr- kind of treasures? Oh, nothing very valuable marbles i would i i had one and uh, a book i wasn't supposed to read a few old coins i had collected things came and went i was a bit of a crow you know uh, collecting bright things and putting them away there was my grandfather's iron cross well not my grandfather's exactly because he was british and the iron cross was a german decoration awarded for bravery during the war the first world war when my grandfather fought in france he got it from a german soldier do you still have it no he said looking her in the eyes i left it in the jackfruit tree you left it in the tree yes I was so excited at the time packing and saying goodbye to people and thinking about the ship I was going to sail on that uh, I simply forgot all about it she quietly said it may still be there in the hollow part of the branch yes he said it's 25 years but uh, it uh, may still be there unless someone else found it would you like to go and look i can't climb trees anymore if you can i'll go and see you just sit here and wait for me i have found it she cried i have found something and now barefoot she ran breathlessly towards him in her outstretched hand a rusty old medal he took it from her and turned it over on his palm is it the iron cross she asked eagerly yes he said that is it now i know why you came you wanted to see if it was still in the tree you may be right i am not really sure why i came but you can keep the cross you found it after all no you keep it it's yours but it could have remained in the tree for another 25 years if you hadn't climbed up to look for it but if you hadn't come back again on the right day at the right time and with the right person he said getting up and placing the medal in her hands it was in the cross i came for it was my youth she didn't understand that but she walked with him to the gate and waited where the road turned he looked back and waved to her then he quickened his steps and moved briskly towards the bus stop there was sprightliness in his step and something cried aloud in his heart the mango scented summer breeze made the blood course in his veins and he forgot for a moment that he couldn't climb trees anymore